Hello everyone. Today we're gonna to go through guide change on our lower head and upper head for you, okay? First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start on the lower head. We're gonna replace, or we're gonna remove our lower flush cup. Take that off first, set that to the side. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our guide change tool and we're gonna loosen the guide, break that free. Then what we're gonna do is by hand, uh, loosen the guide the rest of the way. So now we have the guide out. If we need to, we can clean the guide or if it's time to replace, uh, then we can replace the guide. So we'll go ahead and we'll put that back in. The guide repeats quite well. It's got a, it's got a nice chamfer on it with a slight taper. So the guide repeats within five microns, okay? So we'll put the lower guide back in starting off by hand, then guide change tool to snug it up. And then we will put the flush cup back on. Okay, there we are, we're finished with the lower. Now we're gonna do the upper. So same thing, we're gonna remove the flush nozzle first. and then we'll set that to the side. Now, the upper head's a little bit different because we have what we call our AWT jet, uh, our automatic wire thread jet. Um, so same tool with the guide change also has another slot for the AWT jet. So we're gonna loosen that up, break that free and then finish by hand. So there's our AWT jet, set that to the side. Now underneath that, we have our upper guide. So we'll use the opposite side of the tool. Break that free. And then finish loosening that off. Same thing with the upper guide. Upper guide looks a little different, but same design, same repeatable design. So uh, if you needed to clean it or replace it, you would do that. And then now we'll reassemble it. Get that started, then use the tool to snug it down. Then we're gonna put our AWT jet back on. Snug that up with the tool. and then put our flushing nozzle back on. And there you go, we completed a guide change on the lower and the upper heads.